Hello everybody, this is Adrian with Essential Soul Coaching. So as everybody's heard, Andrew, Prince Andrew, has settled with Miss Virginia Goofrey. He settled as of yesterday, February the 15th, and today is February 16th, so you know, 2022. Um, and in his, uh, he had his lawyers come out and make a statement that he regrets um, uh, his never intention to misalign Miss Goofrey's character, and he regrets spending as much time and remaining friends with Jeffrey Epstein after knowing that he was definitely a predator, especially after he was convicted of that particular crime. Um, he says he accepts that he's that that Miss Guffrey was suffered had suffered because of the issues by the public, um, and he's going to stand up and support uh, and, and fight against the evil crimes of sex trafficking, which is a good thing, right? He's also going to donate money to her charity. Now, I assume this is a charity she works at, so some of the money will be funneled to her because, you know, charities, nonprofits, I think that in America you can keep like 80% of the money that comes in to support the organization and the rest goes, you just got to show that it goes to the actual, um, the actual, uh, cause that you're raising money for. So we're going to read today on now that the circus is over. Pretty much. How does Andrew feel? And then how does Virginia feel about the outcome? So we're going to use the, let's see, the Grand, the Grand Circus and Satchel Tarot. Because this was a circus. So I pulled those out just to use these cards. So. We're going to pull out one card for Andrew, Prince Andrew, and one card for Miss Virginia Goofrey. To see how they feel now that this is technically over. This case is technically over. One card for Andrew first. That's Andrew. That's Andrew feeling. This is Andrew's card. And one card for how Mrs. Goofree is feeling right now. Now that the case is technically over with Andrew. Prince Andrew. And this is her card. So what we got... So for Andrew, we got the Ten of Swords. For Miss Goofrey, we've got the King of Swords. <laughs> there we go. So how are we going to read it? Well, normally with the Ten of Swords, it means it's, it's a sign of completion. So he's happy that the situation is over with. All the knives that were sticking in his back that potentially could kill him and stick him, you know, make him done, are in the basket again. So. This if this is a right side. Uh, this card is right side up, which means it's time for renewal. So right now, all the knives are put away. It's complete. Whatever was happening is now completed. He's out of his misery. And for her, the King of Swords, is she's in charge and she has a new strategy. Alive inside, alive inside. She's a box. She's feeling just, but she may like she's and she's a leader of the band. Like she's gonna be like, you know, I've done it, and she's gonna help other women go and fight cases as well. She feels like she's been justified, and that she's now gonna be the barker for other women who've gone or other people who've gone who've been victim of sexual abuse. So she's gonna use her platform to get other people to wake up. See, it's alive inside, inside, uh, and start bringing people in to do the same thing she did to to win cases against other high profile alleged um sexual predators or people who've slept with young kids um or and these victims can come forth and they can also be um she's going to use some of that money to to actually forward that push that agenda of, ahead that's what she's feeling right now she feels she won she's the king and she's going to help other people form a strategy to go and you know file cases civil suits against these people that's how she's feeling right now okay so now let's look at people saying that uh prince andrew is not going to be able to come out of hiding he needs to go into hiding and just disappear that's what i keep hearing <laughs> and i'm going to use these cards here um the psycho tarot Let's see if you can see that there you go to see what the next six months looks like for Prince Andrew and then this next 12 months after that and the same for Miss Gunfrey. So what is Andrew's life going to like in the next six months after, since this case is now technically over? How is 
Oh, there's a card. And how in the next 12 months, how is this life doing? Look, is he gonna be there's another card. Thank you. Then we've got Miss Virginia Goofrey. How is her life gonna look like in the next six months? And then let's see six months first. How is her life being affected by this case in the next six months? What's it gonna look like? And then the last 12 months, the next 12 months, what is her life going to look like based on the fact that this case is over? Or how is it going to impact her life? Two cards came out. Okay, so this read Andrews, Prince Andrews first. So the first card is triumph. So he's won. He feels he's won. He feels he's he has. Uh, it's like a prince. It's like the knight, right? So he's feeling triumph. He feels like he has won. Like, like I said, all this knives are not in his back. They've been put away. He can get on his horse and he can ride out of here as a victor. He has won in his mind. What he wanted to accomplish, he's accomplished. And then the last card, we don't read this reverse, is moving on. So also, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. He's moving on the greener pastures. He's moving out of the dark into the light. Um, there's, he's, this, let's see, what does he have in his hand here? No. I think he has rope in his hand. But anyway, it's like he's like thinking about the possibilities of where he's going to go next. Like the doors are open. There's opportunities for him. He's moving from the dark to the light. There's the red, the fall, right? And to the spring of a new life, a new beginning for himself. And he's thinking about the possibilities of what he can do when he moves forward. Because he will, everybody wants him to hide away. But he's like, I'm not going to hide away. I, I may sit back and figure out what I want to do next. And there are people who will help me because there's people in the situation I've been in. And there's people who could possibly be implicated in this situation. So I know I have doors waiting to be open for me everybody keeps saying that nobody wants me to work i was listening to the news today and people were like oh nobody's gonna want him to work on their platforms or work on their as a paid uh pat, what does you call it pat, as a patron or whatever uh, or promoting certain ideas like for uh ending uh sexual trafficking like who's gonna really want him well a lot of people will they may let him sit out of it but they're gonna start working with him he's a bad boy right so that you could do a lot with that he's gonna get attention no matter what he does people there, there are different entities looking at him that they can use him in certain capacities. Now, some's going to be about sexual trafficking, sex trafficking. It may be not like in your face type of boards or organizations he's going to work with, but he, they will be bringing him in. Um, they're also going to be looking at um, uh, just deals with him because he kept quiet and settled this thing. So they're like a lot of the people high up are going to be like, "Woo, God, I'm glad he settled because now my name's not going to be bought up." So believe you me, there are going to be people coming for him that work to work with him and to give him money. He is not going to be broke, people. And I already told y'all before in a prior reading that Andrew is going to get his titles back. But they uh, other people uh, like profit prop for-profit businesses and corporations will be pulling him in to do some behind the scenes work. So he, he, he'll be, he won't be broke. And then after he's gone through the, the time of looking at, uh, cause right here, he's in the middle, he's in the middle from leaving to going. Um, he's going to be thinking about the things he really wants to do. Um, and as he figures it out, he will be talking to <laughs> the royal family about getting certain things back eventually. It may not be this year. This is for the, the next, this was a six months. This is for the, um, the next year. He will definitely be um, working towards a plan to get everything back that was taken from him. Other than the patron list that the queen would give him to work on. So he's he, he'll be slowly integrated, say within the next five years or so. I mean, because he's only 60 years old, 61, 62, something like that. So, and the queen probably has about five years left. So about 65, 60. So before he's 70, he will be doing small things, working his way. You'll see that he's been working his way, transforming himself, transforming his pers his um, uh, persona, I should say. So that, you know, 10 years makes a big difference, right? He'll be working his way back into the world of, um, you know, nonprofits and, and charity organizations and 
you know, how we think now 10 years is how we'll think totally different about him in, in, in the next 10 years. So, but in the next year, plans been worked out, people are coming to him, uh, they see it, the light that he they can use him in certain capacities. Some people are going to protect him because he protected them. So he is not going broke and he's not going under the radar. He is going to emerge within a year, people. So he may take a year off to get himself together and, and work behind the scenes of getting that money in and making that, doing what he needs to do. And don't think that the queen ain't paying him some money, y'all. This is crazy, y'all. Think that the queen is taking care of his living expenses. But <clears throat> he is going to emerge. Okay, now with Miss Virginia Goofrey, she's got a card that says disruption. In the next six months, there's a lot of disruption in her, in her life. She's going to feel like a prisoner to what's happening. Um, there may be some issues with her family life and her, you know, because money can change people. So she's getting all this money all at once. And I don't know how, how rich, wealthy her husband is, but there's going to be some restraints I'll put on her. Um, there's going to be some issues with her family, issues with the organizations or something that's coming out. Or, and also, I see these cuffs on her. Now, they say that she had something to do with uh, uh, going out and recruiting girls to come in to actually do the job to be sex trafficked, uh, trafficked as well after she was the age of 18. Over the age of 18, she was doing that. So there may be, she may be held to some accountability for this as well. And that might have been what really helped with this case is that they were going to threaten her. Well, since, because I think in the um, Grizzlane Maxwell case, they said that it come out and people had already testified that she recruited girls and she was over at 18, so 18, 18. So she was accountable. So everybody's writing that off that, oh, well, she was just, you know, she just was uh, brainwashed and she didn't know what she was doing. Yes, yeah, she did. She was over 18. She knew it was wrong to recruit other people to do what she was doing. I'm sorry. No, she should be held accountable. And I think that was part of the issue is that they were threatening that. So that's one of the other reasons why she. Uh, wanted the settlement as well. Uh, she agreed to the settlement because she said she was going to fight to the end. Remember, she did not because there are some things that was going to come out about her and they're going to still come out about her and there is a potential that it could harm her in the next six months. She could be charged. Maybe it won't, um, they won't um, take her to court. I'm not sure. Maybe there was an agreement that they wouldn't take her to court, but this is going to come out heavily and talked about that she actually recruited girls to work for Epstein. So she was not all, like I told you, the reading before, I told you she was not innocent. I didn't know anything about that. She, But it came out in the court case. She is not innocent in all this stuff, people. Okay, so that's, there's a lot of things that are going on in the background that we don't know everything about, but she compromised herself. And so that's that there. And then the last card is New Beginning. So after she goes through this phase here, uh, with that, some revelations coming out about her, some issues with her family and her husband, probably, um, as money changes you. Um, she's going to be able to start out in new beginnings, and that's how she's going to work with her, her organization. Um, she's coming through this door on the other side, victorious, as far as I'm going to start a new life and do things differently, I think. It's just like the world card, kind of, sort of. And she has a wand in her hand. I believe that's a wand. Yeah, it would be a wand in this reading, being able to accomplish some things. Kind of looks like her too, a little bit. And I think she's blonde though, but yep. Okay, so this is what's gonna happen. And then one last card is how do they, let's see the question. How do people perceive them? How do people perceive, will perceive them? Um, so Andrew, in the next, within the next year, based on this case, will it be on something in the past? Will it be, you know, will it be like they still are whoever they are, and you know he's always going to be a jerk, and he's he did it, and she, or she's money grabbing, and that's what it, she's always been about, or, or what? Well, how are people going to kind of summarize this thing that happened between the two of them? That's Andrew's card. All right, so we got her card. All right, so for this, do Andrew's card first. Charm. <laughs> so look at this card. It's like someone's being made over. So he's going to come out and try to be Mr. Prince Charming. 
This could be a knight, prince, charming, but this is really a, char a prince that's actually achieved his goals. This is going to be prince charming. He's going to come out and he's going to reinvent himself. Serene, he's going to look different. Well, you know, he's going to come off his come off difference. He's going to revamp his whole public persona. They're going to help him groom himself in the way that shapes him in a better light. It's going to take time. So I think a lot of he is going to be doing more charity work and things to help people out. He wants to come out and look like he. Um, there's birds singing. Yeah. Just a whole new makeover. Someone, uh, uh, some type of um, public speaking. And what do you call those people who revamps people's personas? You know just his whole style he's going to be working with a coach to help and counselor i believe counselor i think that's gonna be part of it that might be an internal thing with the family that he works with he gets counseling or something like that to help him with how he's his his persona his how he comes off in in public someone's going to try to help work with work him work with him to remake over his his persona in public yep so he's gonna be working with a coach or a team of people and then with her, it's going to be more about publicity. Dang, she's welding off the tie. So again, right, she's out there going to release new beginnings with her money she's got. She's going to take on these new, uh, her, 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 um, she's going to be on speaking engagements. She's going to be doing, working with her charity, nonprofit organization for victim, um, sex trafficking or sex abuse uh, victims and then um but she's got to be careful that she's not all talking no show she's action she's got to talk she's got to walk the talk but she's going to be out there hitting the drums beating the drums talking about this particular situation as far as for other people getting again to bring them into <laughs> the tent and say there's there's money out there. So Y'all just need to go for it. I'm going to show you how to do it. You can do it just like I did it. She's going to try to get people to go and file lawsuits. And she's going to be uh, one of the mouthpieces out there pushing it. Through her organization. Now, another thing about Andrew as far as the charm, he has to make sure he doesn't become too overly aggressive because he does have that ego, right? So he may get a little cocky. You know, if it turns this way, if his energy turns this way, his energy, he could get a little cocky. Uh, with the new charm and stuff, but he gets so cocky because everybody wants to be a, a lot of people are coming to him and trying to work with him that he doesn't let this turn cocky. So he has to be very conscious of that. And so he keeps the charm very cognizant. People are going to be watching him. He's going to have a team around him for a while, but he will eventually get back into his, he will, his, his HRH will be restored. It's just going to take time for that to be restored. He's going to petition to get it restored. Probably get it restored when, before, definitely before the queen dies or when she dies. They'll make sure. Because that could be five years. And I think within five years, you can really um, rehabilitate your personality and your, your persona and the things that's happened so far gone. And he's not made any more mistakes and or gaffes and stays above board, then he may be able to get those. I'm seeing that he's going to get those back. That is, before the last reading, he will get them back. This girl here, I'm just seeing that she could take things a little too far with this publicity and going after cases like that mother daughter duo who's always going after sexual abuse cases. Uh, the lawyers, the two lawyers in America, I can't think of their name. Aldred, she could carry this a little bit too far and not, you know, get the request get the results she's looking for for other people that she got for herself and so people could possibly be turned off for, of, from her over time and so like the queen the king has no clothes on kind of sort of thing like he does he's speaking but he don't understand that he got his own issues you know what i'm saying and she she did and this this case here might might kind of always come up that she participated in recruiting girls uh it depends on how she spent it the spin masters and how they work it i think she will come out on top of this but she, and, and get that new beginning it's just she's got to be very careful how she wills that bully pit pull, pulpit she's going to have she can go a little bit too far so she's got to be very careful of that and that is my reading for today i told y'all that he was going to be okay it's done it's settled people need to stop saying that man is not going to come back and he can't show his face again because that's just y'all propaganda he's going to come back anybody everybody that 
and self responsibility or he as he has paid for whatever happened between them two or him with Epstein. I think he's acknowledged that he has made a mistake. I think that they should give him a second chance and, and stop just wanting him to go and hide. What for? You wouldn't want to do that. If that's your family. People saying he shouldn't even go to his father's uh, memorial service in April. He should just watch on TV. What the heck? Y'all need to stop that because that's not what you want. It's something different if you can't attend. But don't tell somebody they can't, they can't attend their own father's uh, memorial service. And he should be there front and center because I would be with my father. I don't care what y'all say. People, nobody is perfect. People make mistakes. As long as you pay for it and, and, and um, make apologies for it and you're sincere, let's move on. He's done that, which y'all have been asking him to do. And you're still dogging him, you know. But he probably never did anything with her. I mean, or if he did, it was she was of age. But it's we've, nothing's been proven. He's not guilty of anything. He hasn't lost the lawsuit. He just settled. So I'm saying that means he he's, he admits guilt. If that was the case, you might as well go to the whole court case then and then get them to say yes or no. Why would you just settle and say, well, you're admitting guilt if you settle. Then why settle? That's not why people settle. Y'all know this. Stop, stop putting that out there on the news saying that's, that that must mean he's, he, he's, he's admitting guilt. He did not admit guilt. He's always said he never did anything. He just wanted the stuff to end. And the people saying a lot of it is because of the Queen's Jubilee as well. They just wanted to be over with. And now it is over with for Andrew and Miss Goofrey. Jufrey. Whatever, Joffrey, whatever her name is. So anyway, y'all have a good day. This is my reading. If you want to have a reading with me, contact me at ascensionsoulcoaching at gmail.com. Please like, share, and subscribe and hit the notification bell if when I, you get notified whenever I load up a, um, a new video and I'm trying to do as many as I can. So if you have any comments, leave it below. Do you think Andrew's going to be able to turn around his personality, his uh, persona and come back out within a year? Or do you think Miss uh, this situation with Miss uh, Joffrey, Joffrey, Virginia Joffrey, whatever her name is, if Virginia Joffrey, she, is she going to come out on top and she's going to be a really good advocate for sexual abuse and sex trafficked victims? Um, anyway, y'all have a good day and I'll talk to you later. Blessings.